Alright hey guys and welcome to episode 17 of this Road to Glory series on FIFA 19. So let's have a quick reminder of last episode, I believe we had a cup game didn't we? We did. So we drew 1-1 in the FA Cup against Swansea at home and followed that up with a 2-0 victory away at Hull City, I do remember that game now. It's been a while since I filmed some of these so you'll have to bear with me. Uh, yeah, that, that's the game where we uh, went 1-0 up and were under a lot of pressure and then scored in death, isn't it? Today's episode, because we are into February and the transfer window shut, we will be playing three games again. and we'll start with an away game at Ipswich before playing the replay in the FA Cup, so we'll be travelling to Swansea. And we will end today's episode with a home game against Reading. We've uh, struggled for form a little bit lately, haven't we? Things have been not, uh, well, I suppose they've not been bad. We've just had a lot of uh, draws. I mean, we've still got the best defensive record in league, I believe. We are six points behind Stoke. We're in second at minute. We've got a healthy seven point lead over West Brom in third. We have got a game in hand as well, which means we can narrow that lead to just three points if we do win that game in hand. Better start winning some games, haven't we? Let's see if we can start with a game against Ipswich first test for this episode then let's see if we can grab three points away from home we need the three points we've got to start putting wins on board because we've had too many draws don't matter how good as defensive record is if we're not winning games does it it's which line up then Bielkowski, Spence, Chambers and Siala, Kenlock, Skuse, Adeyemi, Ward, Graham, Nolan and Sears Pretty sure Ipswich grabbed the win last time we played them. Didn't Freddie Sears score the only goal at game, maybe? That's what I seem to remember anyway. We've got a few changes to our lineup. Fructal, Vagnoman, Lees, Ampadu, Fife, Pellegrini, Tenali, McTominay, Reach, Arp, and Winall. Shaparenko were exhausted after that last game, and he did do a lot of running, so McTominay comes in in the middle at park, and we swap both wing backs because that's where our width comes from. Arp also getting a game up front. All right, come on, lads. Tenali. Across to reach. McTominay forward. Pellegrini's bursting forward. Dinky middle. Arp's not tall enough. wonder if it had made a difference if it were Haaland on pitch. Why has McTominay gone all the way back to Tom Lees? Tom Lees is the one coming forward. Here's McTominay. Sam Winall. Up. Ah, and that's the back of the net. Our supporters are up in that corner. Should have gone and celebrated with him, really. Arp grabbing a goal. He's not played a lot lately, has he? Because Haaland's been in form. But Janfita Arp comes in and bags a goal with his first start in a few games. That's what happens when you're the German Harry Kane. I'm hoping that he grows considerably in this season. So next season when we're in Premier League, he's a top quality striker. That's more like it though. That's the kind of start we wanted after a, a troubling few episodes. Not want to let up either. Can't sit back and rest on our laurels. Here's Adam Reach. Not enough power on that pass. Ampadu, Reach. McTominay. Threads it through for reach again. Sees Art making a run. Takes it out wide. Can we get a cross in? And keeper's ball. Well done, Lees. It's Ampadu. Oh, Ampadu's get it away poorly. Oh, ho, ho. clear it. Well done, Wagnerman. Oh, that's off at top. Graham. Five stepping up. There's Nolan. Well done, Wagnerman and Tenali knocks it forward for Lees. That's it. Ampadu forward to Pellegrini. Oh, what a touch. Adam Reach. Pellegrini forward for Tenali. Up again. Oh, what a goal. That were better than his first one. Over to them Wednesday fans in corner. Not many of them, is there? Well, he's just run away again. <laughs> That were a better goal than his first one. 
and he took that with his left as well, which is quite shocking, since it looked like it was set up perfectly for his right. That shift of body position to get that shot off, that, is, that should not have gone in. What a goal, Jan Fieter, Arp. McTominay fires it forward for Arp. Win all. Sees Pellegrini making that long bursting run. I think we're going to be able to get it box. No. Nope. McTominay picks it up though. Oh, what a turn by Winall. Oh, <laughs> I had to take that shot, didn't I? Arp's on an hat trick. Basically, got to shoot every time Arp gets anywhere near ball. <laughs> and Purdue. Tenali. Winall. Didn't get enough connection on that, and he were offside anyway, so. Strange that Sam Winall is our number one striker and has been bagging us all as goals more or less. And then Arp comes in after sitting on sidelines for quite a while and gets us two goals in first half. Here's Reach. Oh, referee. Well, at the break, it is Ipswich nil, Sheffield Wednesday two. Tonali should have got that ball as well. Should have cut that out. Oh, what a ball in behind. Can they keep it in? No. Oh, well done, Ricci, baby. Cut off again. Jan Fita, I want you to get your hat-trick, sunshine. Here is Reach. Up. And there is the hat-trick. Can't celebrate in front of Wednesday fans anymore because they are right at the other end of the stadium. Let's do one for fans watching it on. I'm going to be honest, I weren't expecting that to make it all the way through to Arpa. We're aiming for win all. So we got a little bit fortunate in that the pass didn't go where I wanted it to, but it went at least to one of our players. Took his chance brilliantly though, didn't he? At trick for Arp. Nolan, Skuse, Adeyemi, Sears. Big block by Ampadu, but it only delays things a little bit. Tom Lee's well done, Sonny Jim. Nolan. Finds Ward. This Sears. One on one with Keeper. Did Fructal put that over or was it a bad shot? Well, it weren't a bad shot, was it? It weren't far off. No, Fructal were nowhere near that. Substitution time then. We are bringing Reach and Tenali off with Zadas and Baudry both coming on. McTominay shifts over into defensive side of midfield. With Zadas being the more offensive sided player. The one thing that I am still contemplating, and I did mention this at the uh, start of this career mode, so I don't really feel like it's cheating. We brought McTominay in on loan, and we did say we might look at signing him permanently. Oh, is win all on side? Don't matter, good defending. He were on side. Baudrick to Zadas. Good control from Zadas. There's McTominay. Second shot and it picks up a deflection. Did come off Winall? No. Came off for an Ipswich player. Oh, I thought that was going to be a free header then. Whole team pretty much tired apart from Zadas and Baudry. Oh, and Arp is in again. Oh, that was so nearly number four for the young German. How far off was it? I imagine it were quite a bit. No, it weren't too far off. Baudry. Wagnerman coming forward. We get across. Great block. Dink it across again. Win all. Knocked off the ball. Defender stepping up brilliantly. There's Harrison. Rowe. All the way back to Ward. Looking for one final attack with Spence. Spence again, comes forward, Skuse, Dozzle, Harrison with an epic shot from Rage. If that had been on target, that would probably have gone in. Come on ref, bot whistle, thank you, there we go, at full time, Ipswich Town nil, Sheffield Wednesday 3. And there's Jan Fita collecting his match ball, well deserved kid, well deserved. Of course, that victory... Well, he has a bit of uh, momentum heading into this game then, won't it? We are going to follow this, well, follow that first game up with the FA Cup replay against Swansea. Hopefully, we can avoid defeat and snatch a winner in this one. And 
put ourselves through to the fifth round of the FA Cup. Well, I did a derp and I accidentally skipped the uh, opening animation. So let's have a look at the lineups then. So once we start with Nordfeld in goal, Norton, Van der Hoorn, Rodon and Alton in defence, Fulton, Merg and Fur in the middle at park with Narsing, McBurney and Selina up front. We make a few changes from last time out. We start with Fructal in goal. Lees, Hector and Fife at centre-back with Gumney and Penny coming back in at wing-backs. Tanali, Shaparenko and Reach are that midfield three and we start up front with Winall and Arp again. Arp with an impressive display last game. Let's see if we can recreate it in this one. I'm not going to hold out too much hope because let's face it, Swansea really should be a Premier League quality team. <laughs> There's Narsin coming forward. Shaparenko doing battle with him. Shaparenko going in again. There's Reach. Managing to cut that out. Tanali. Slowing things down a bit. Oh, why did we go that far back? Michael Hector. Forgot that I played Hector. A little bit more experience in middle than uh, Ampadu, but it was mostly because Ampadu needed a rest. But I might be wrong. Here's Narsing. Oh, well done, one Fife. Narsing keeps that in, and Tom Lees hammers it upfield. Oh, well done, Fructal. Shouldn't be letting Swansea shoot from that distance, though. What a good save. Is it McBurney? I assume it works. It went number nine. And that's usually your striker, isn't it? Get out wide to Penny, because he were in some space. And his win all. Through to reach. Or oh, has he not scored? Don't matter, because Sam Winall has. Please tell me it were onside. It were. Let's go and celebrate in front of these travelling Wednesday fans. Or I would if it had not pulled him back onto the pitch. I couldn't believe it when Reach didn't score then. Arp lucky though to get the to ball first and Winnell with the easiest goal he's scored since we started this career mode. He is top scorer for a reason though. It's Tenali on to Reach. The only option we've got going forward was Winnell but Fulton got a foot in. Oh, well done, lads. Reach waiting for Tanali. I know it was Shaparenko who we were waiting for. Win all. Oh, Penny. Let it run. Here's Tanali. Win all. Why have we gone that far back? That makes no sense. And then Hector gets ball away. So much for experience. <laughs> Let's begin it away that easily. We can help it. Fur and Van der Hoorn. <laughs> High, wide and not very handsome. I'm going to do it again. Ball into the box. Merg, well done Tom Lees. And very nearly at half time. If we can go in 1-0 up at the break. Kind of regroup a little bit. No late equalisers, well done Gumney. And there is the referee's whistle. Half time, we have the 1 0 lead. Not going to shock you then, there's still no changes for this second half. I am happy with how things are going. I'd just like for us to maybe bag another goal to make it a little bit more comfortable. Is this where we get it? Jan Fita, great save by Norfelt. Here's Penny, finds Winall. Arp, oh, dragged from under his foot. They were lucky as well because defender nearly lost that. I'm trying to go in with Reach then. Oh, well done, Adam Reach. No, not well done, Adam Reach. <laughs> Why would you do so well to get back? I was trying to not touch that ball then. You know, Why would you just so well to get back and win ball and then get away so cheaply like that? No, it has gone in, but play stopped. Offside, maybe? Foul? Offside, it looks at it. No? Yeah, offside. Quite a bit off. Well done, Fife. Oh, Shaparenko in space. Oh, ball through to win all score. How did Nordfeld save that? Should have buried that, Sam. Maybe I should have been looking for a pass. Because I know that we had Arp running in. Well done, Gumney, although he's not managed to win it. 
still chasing that second goal. Here is Gumney. A little Polish wizard. Let me implement on right wing back. Up through middle. Hacked away by Rodon. A couple of subs then. Up going off. Haaland coming on. Shaparenko goes off and the youngster Baudry comes on in his place. I say youngster. I mean the entire team's pretty much made up of youngsters, isn't it? But you know what I mean. Here is Baudry. Nearly loses it twice then. Win all. Shot blocked. Narsing and Baudry wins that back wonderfully. Oh, another big block. Here's Baudry looking for Haaland. Finds him. And Rodon recovers. 91 of 92 minutes played. Oh, Tenali lost ball. There was virtually no pressure on him then either. It doesn't matter though. There is the referee's whistle. We are through to the fifth round of the FA Cup. Swansea nil, Sheffield Wednesday one. Well, there's no real rest for the wicked, is there? Because we finish that game and move on to the third and final one of this episode. The board are happy with us. We have reached one of the objectives, which has reached the round of 32. We are now in the round of 16. So that's an FA Cup objective one. Let's see how we get on in this game against Reading. We are at home, although that hasn't been a good thing lately, has it? Hopefully we can change that this time around. Sheffield where's the lineup then? Fructal, Wagnerman, Lees, Ampadu, Hector, Pellegrini, Tenali, McTominay, Reach, Haaland and Winall. Few changes, mostly due to fatigue. Haaland was on form before we started playing Reach though, so that's encouraging. Ampadu returning, we're getting five for rest in defence. And the Reading lineup: Manone, Yedom, Liori, Ilori, Moore, Gunter, Mailer, Kelly, Bakuna, McCleary, Baldock and Barrow. Chris Gunter, another player that used to play for Tottenham, I'm pretty sure. Although I thought you were a right back. Either way, we have got two victories so far in this episode. And capping it off we a third is how I'd like to end things. Until defender got a block in. Here is Pellegrini. Reach. On for Haaland. Oh, he did take a shot, but it was blocked. It was blocked well as well. Not sure Haaland would have actually scored if we'd have got anywhere near that anyway, because his shooting's not the best, is it? But, or his finishing's not the best, should I say. Passing ain't the best either, looking at that. Tenali! Oh, how? How did Manone save twice? I mean, Tenali's shot were more of a pass, but how did he recover to save that from Winall? Another corner then. Again, aim for middle. Still can't get anybody on it. Ampadu picking that up. Here's Hector. On for Tenali. Adam Reach. And that was a poor shot. Back to Tenali. Just find a bit of space. Knocking it on for Reach. Here's Haaland. Come on, mate. Oh, with it, a crossbar. <laughs> Too much power. Oh, come on, lads. The offside. No. Yes. <laughs> you could see me hesitate then. I paused because I weren't sure if you were offside. And that were wrong because you played at whistle, didn't you? Reading have not been especially good in the passing department in this game so far. We just are failing to take us chances. Can we finish this one? No. Win all. That were meant to be a finessed shot. How did it go that far wide? That's meant to be with finesse. Wow. Pellegrini. Crossed in. Headed away by Moore. It were falling to Haaland, that. Whip that ball in. Can we get a header on it? No. Haaland, it fell behind him. A little bit unlucky, really. Is Tenali. Run forward. Winall. And this time we do grab a goal. Does it count? No. Winall were offside. That ball from Tenali were a good ball. But. He were offside. 
and hope we can find Haaland, which we do. Could we set reach off? We can. Can he get past his man? He could get past the first, but not the second. We are nearly at half time. Clear it. We do. His reach. And that is the half time whistle. At the break, Sheffield Wednesday nil, Reading nil. We have made a change at half time. We have took Adam Reach off and brought Arnau Baudry on in cam. And his first action is to get ball away to Mailer. Is Baldock. Could be in behind here as McCleary. Well done, Ampadu. And Vagnerman pokes that on. Here is Baudry. Nearly get it away again then. McTominay saves his blushes. I thought. Ah, uh, Winall's offside. Yep. Mailer, Gunter. To Barrow on wing. There's Mailer again. Finds Barrow. What an embarrassing shot. That one weren't good, Kelly. Skied it, innit? Foot straight underneath it. It is that striking change then, but it's Winall going off, not Haaland. Looking at Winall, he's exhausted. Here's Tenali. McTominay. Baudry. Back heel. Is Jan Fieter up? Oh, great save by Minone. Back through middle. How did we not get on that? Third and final sub then. Tenali coming off and it's Shaparenko replacing him. We have moved... McTominay over into that defensive half of that midfield partnership. And that's all the way back to the keeper. Fructal lumps that upfield. And that's what we were wanting. And we were hoping that Haaland would win that header. He did. But, well, he's won it back here. Baudry, oh, he's put it behind Arp. And there we go. Arp scores anyway. The shot was turned behind him. But it don't matter. We got lucky and Jan Fieter up scores again. That is four goals in three games for that little young German. Yeah, it went behind him, but all defenders crowded it and he just turned beautifully. Just enough to put everybody off and we finally beat the Reading keeper. He's pulled off some great saves in this. Moore. Is it forward? Sims. Bodvarsen. Gunter. Gunter has been quite... Crap, hasn't it? Basically, he could have struggled to keep ball in quite a lot, letting it go out of play. His passing's been off. I know I'm one to talk, but here's Kelly, Bod Varson, well done, Ethan Ampadu, stepping up. McTominay, Harland, spot Shaparenko bursting forward, and. Not going to get in behind. Chris Gunter is the one that covers that. And he covers it well. Showing me up really, isn't he? And there we go. There is the referee's whistle. At full time, Sheffield Wednesday 1, Reading 0. Well, for the first time in a long time, we actually end that episode with three victories out of three. We are one point behind Stoke. And we still have a game in hand. We are right in this. We're nine points clear of third place as well. Let's flick back to that. Look at that. Nine points clear of West Brom. And we have a game in hand. If we win that game in hand, which I assume is this one against Millwall, which will be in the next episode, because that is the end of this one. But if we do win that game in hand, we will retake first place. And not just get automatic promotion, but win the league if things do end up staying the same. Still a lot of football to play though, isn't there? We're only in February, we've got three months of games left, so we'll not count as eggs before the hatch. We'll uh, just try and remain hopeful. For now though, guys, that is the end of this episode. If you enjoyed it, twat that thumbs up button, and if you want to keep up with the various series that we've got on the channel at the minute, then twat that subscribe button. So, subscri uh, subscribers are growing quite a lot at the minute. I'm really, really happy with growth for the channel. So for all you that are new subs, thank you for watching. Thank you for subbing. Uh, social media links are all in the description below. Feel free to follow me. And other than that, cheers for watching, guys. And as usual, I'll see you next episode.